Hey everyone, welcome to Konya, the city of hearts. So right now I'm in Konya, Turkey, and right behind me you can see this is called Mavlana Museum. So this is actually the museum of Rumi, the famous poet Rumi. I'm sure many of you guys have heard of him. He's a famous poet, he was a theologian, and he actually practiced uh, Islam. And he was more on the spiritual aspect, which is called Sufism. So this is a place right over here. And he is actually buried here, and there is a museum here. And this, this beautiful building over here used to actually be a lodge for the Mavlani order. And the Mavlani order is just an order that uh, Rumi created that just, uh, have you ever seen those people, uh, trolls and circles, they're called dervishes? So this is the place, I just want to show you how it is and he's a famous guy so let's check it out. Okay so this is the front entrance of the museum and then you can see over here they have beautiful trees and just look how they cut every tree over here. This one looks like a whirl, tried to make it look like a whirl. And then this one also, this tree, they wanted, they wanted to make it look like a dervish person. There's one right there. So they kind of made the trees the same shape as the guy, which is kind of cool. You can see the place is really upkept. And please comment, let me know what you think about this building. And if you love Rumi too, please hit that thumbs up. I think he's a highly respected guy and he has beautiful poetry. Wow, check it out. Check out how beautiful it is. And actually, since Rumi is very known around the world, he has visitors all across the world just coming to this place, Sakonia, Turkey, just to travel to see the Mavlana Museum. And Mavlana is actually, it's called Maulana, which pronunciated in Arabic or in English, Maulana. And Maulana just means a master or, or lord. That basically, they gave him this title was because he was very, he was very well educated and he was a theologian for his time. Okay, let's check it out. And actually, he was a native Persian speaker. His parents were, were native Persian speakers. So most of his works were in Persian. There were some that were in Turkish, Arabic, as well as Greek. But most of his texts were in Persian. Until this day, they translate his work. So let's check it out. Give you a full view of the beautiful museum. Then also in this museum, they have some, uh, they have some old Islamic artifacts, like Qurans that date back 500 years ago. So it's pretty interesting, pretty cool. Check out these little domes. Can you imagine this building has been staying here for hundreds of years? So cool. Here there's a big water fountain. This is how the water fountain looks like. It's nice. But I just want you to I just want you guys to appreciate the like architecture here and also the detail in every work, every column they put in here. All right, I'll show you what I'm talking about. The little water from <laughs> the kids are playing. So actually, unfortunately, this part of the building you cannot get in because of COVID-19. See over here it says something, can't read Turkish, but it says COVID-19. So we can't get inside this part of the building, but we can get in the side where Rumi is buried and other uh, and we could go to the part where there's uh, beautiful Islamic artifacts like the Quran hundreds of years they even have uh, pieces of his uh, clothing from hundreds of years ago amazing how they still kept it that's how highly respected this guy was Rumi so inside of these uh, I want to say rooms they actually uh, have tombs of people like this is the tomb of Fatima Hatun the octagon tomb was built in 1585 so actually this was a few hundred years after he died because uh rumi died in the late uh 13th century so it was like i believe he died in 1272 if i'm not mistaken and here's just another uh i believe tomb as well of someone here tomb of haram pasha pa pasha sorry yeah and you can see inside there's a tomb but let me all right so i showed you around the outside pretty much let me go inside where rumi is actually buried and he's uh he's buried amongst other people but rumi's tomb is actually the biggest and it's a gigantic tomb actually i've never seen a tomb quite as big as his so once i go inside i'll show you what i'm talking about okay so i'm about to go inside and actually it's pretty quiet inside so i may not talk 
But this is the entrance, front, beautiful entrance. Let's go inside. And you see I have these things on my feet just to, for cleanliness because we're going inside. So I'm going to go inside right now. Check it out. So I'm going to show you the architecture. Yeah, this is just the front entrance. Roomy. Okay. So check it out. This is that entrance over here. This is another entrance actually. You see a lot of people are buried here. And they have turbans on the coffins, out of respect, just to show like there was somebody who were who was important. But check out this big, beautiful building. Okay, we're about to see Ruby where he's buried. So you can see like here. I want to just give you an idea of like these coffins, how big they are. And now check out Rumi's, how big it is. And like you could even see over here the architecture and the detail is still pretty nice but look over here how nice it is check it out it's really nice this is roomy wow you see that's his name over there it has quite a few names actually. So beautiful. You can see, look how big his tomb is compared to everyone else. His tomb is gigantic, right? Wow. And also the detail on the architecture is like, look at the pillars up. Wow. Amazing. You can see he has a big turban too on his coffin. Mavlana. Okay, and then now inside this room, inside this beautiful room over here, we have a lot of interesting stuff. So let me just go around and show you. Hope you can see with the lighting. So these are like some older texts that Rumi wrote. Look how, look how big and how many pages these books are. Amazing. So I'm just gonna show you some of his works. And like I told you, most of his works are actually in Persian. His, his uh, native language is actually Persian. And these are some uh, clothings of Rumi. So this is Mavlana. Mavlana is another you know name for Rumi. So check this out. Some of his clothing. This is, I believe, his cloak. Yes, this is it right over here, his cloak. But check it out, this is what they would wear around that time in the 13th century. So beautiful. And then here is where they would read their books. And you can see it's, uh, it says reading desk. So a lot of them would like sit on the ground and they would just have this or just hold their book. So they wouldn't like do work on a standard desk. So it's pretty interesting. And then here is Mavlana cloak, it belongs to Mavlana. So this is uh, Ruby's cloak actually. Check it out. This is what Rumi would used to wear. Wow. Mavlana. And you know, please write below, write in the comment section below, what is your favorite Rumi quote, okay? I'd love to hear it. There's some other, so this is Holy Quran. Wow, look how small this Quran is. Amazing. What is this one? Osmanli Holy Quran. Wow, so look at this Quran. It's like a big roll. Big roll that they written the whole Quran on. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Have you ever seen this Quran like that? Amazing. And this is also a holy Quran from the 16th century. Wow, hundreds of years old, this Quran. Amazing, they got some cool stuff. Seven, 1767. That's nearly when America started. America started in 1776. 1767, before America officially started. Amazing. They kept these books in such great shape. Quran Karim. Wow, this is from 1300s. Amazing. Check it out. Okay, wow. And you can see, look, look how many people in front of me are just looking at me. Rumi's grave. Sorry, it was such a lot of noise. So many people in front of me are just, uh, re and usually Muslims, when they go to a grave, 
they recite the Fatiha, which is one of the most like best surahs you could recite. So that's that's basically what people are doing. Also, just out of respect, they're just praying for the guy. Oh, not that guy, Rumi. Okay, then let, let me just show you some other older Qurans. This is, let me see, what is this one? This is poems. This is a book of poems. This is not the Quran. But this one is. 19th century Ottoman. Interesting painting. Ooh, I, I hope you guys can see it. Is it the lighting? Vavla Nakami. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to show you everything in this room. Wow, it's the other ho Holy Quran. Wow, this one from 1268. Amazing. It's amazing how long they preserve these books. Eighteen thirty eight. Oh, it looks like one's missing. Let's carry on to the outside. This is basically it. And this over here, do you guys wanna see this? It's blocked off. But wait, I got a camera with like with the tripod. Look at this. Amazing. So I believe this is just a praying area. Okay. Let's continue on. Ooh, it looks like it's very windy outside. This is about to rain actually. Oh, look how windy it is. Look at the flag. You can see it's windy. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did showing you this beautiful museum. So as always, guys, take care. And please give this video a big thumbs up. And comment below, let me know what you thought about the museum. Do you want to add some famous Rumi quotes or something about this area? I would love to hear from you guys. I just wanted to make this video not so long and also just show you some beautiful thing. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm just going to be enjoying the rest of this beautiful city of Konya for today. And I'm off to the next city. So I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Love you guys.